Dear friends, uh, welcome back to the app creation tutorial. Uh, this is the sixth in the series. And from now on, while you can use this uh, individual to learn as well if you're already an intermediate programmer. Um, but if you are a beginner, I would strongly recommend going through all the previous five episodes so that uh, you can learn how to create um, apps using Xcode tutorials. All right, with that, uh, let's go ahead and click on the Xcode icon and open our book tracker tutorial project. All right. So what we are going to learn today, uh, so let's quickly learn, uh, run the application and I'll show you the things that I'm going to do today. And we'll take it from there. So the simulator is coming up. And you know the function, uh, just to recap, anything you enter can be removed completely by clicking on this erase button. Uh, if you do not have any name, it will prompt for it, uh, you know, when it is blank. Right. You click again, the author is blank. It will give you a prompt again. Click again. Genre cannot be blank. So you can type whatever genre you want and it will store the value accordingly. Great. So uh, with that, um, what we want to do next is I want to put another text box here known as status, which should have value such as um, reading, read, uh, or to be read. Okay. Uh, so this is like you can track books based upon the status. If you've already read, you want to keep it in a different, um, you know, view altogether. If you are currently reading, you want to sh see those books in a different view. And the one that you want to read in the future, you want to bracket it out differently. Um, so what I want to do is I want to bring a text box here on the status. And then again, I want to give a table view to do it. Okay. The problem is, you know, if you have two table views, one over here, it kind of occupies the space. Then if you put one status bar over here, the view will look a little distorted, right? Uh, what ideally would like to do is have the status box here. When you click on here, the status box goes away. Only this table view is visible. When you click on the status, which is the next text field will create, you show the table view next to it underneath. Okay. So how do you do that? What you'll also learn to do is uh, while you can have many table views, I'll use the same table view to achieve this functionality so that you're not creating a clutter of table views on your uh, on your uh, screen and it is easy to manage and maintain it okay so go ahead and stop the application um, you know the drill go to the main storyboard and what I'll do now is I will click on this table view and I'll drag it a little bit down notice that when I'll drag it down it will give me some Warning, this is for the constraint. Uh, for now, let me remove the constraint. Okay. Uh, clear constraints. So the constraints for this table view is gone. I'll make it a little bigger. And what I want to do is I want to get a text box. All right. So text field for your status. Place it right here. Make it of the same width. This one. Now I will put uh, maybe some more space here uh, just to be evenly distributed. Maybe I can pull this a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up, right? And then a table view a little bit up here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and select all of the text boxes. You see a lot of yellow marks. Go ahead and clear all the constraints select the table view as, as well this time and say add missing constraint all right everything is tied up properly and go ahead and run this application so i want to show you the problem first before you try to solve it now if i click on genre it is coming down below here um, aesthetically it doesn't look good right typically you know when you're typing genre you want this to be like a drop down next to your genre so that's what i'm going to fix first and then for the status, when I click on status, 
I want the same table view to be shown but with different value like read to be read or um, uh, currently reading things like that values like that okay let's stop this uh, don't worry about those error that you sh uh, that is shown here um, this uh, we can worry about that later on there are some constraints issues we'll worry about that later on that how to fix those okay all right so what we need to do first is uh, you have to understand that any particular ui object that you have it has four properties known as x coordinate y coordinate height and the width okay and you can see that in the property scheme of things as well so click on the table view for example and you go to the size inspector there you can get the view size which is your table view size you can see that x is 20. what is x x is how much of space it should leave from the left hand side of the screen to from where it is painted so there are 20 pixels which are left which is this space why why means how much of space it should leave from the top of the screen till here so right from here till here it's saying 336 width is how much is the width of the object which is you can see from this dot to this dot which is 374 and height is how big the object should be uh, just to show you perspective if I click on the status text box you will see that X is 20 which is true for this as well right so everything is 20 spaced this one this one because they all have similar amount of space left here uh, the Y is 294 which is lesser than this one why because it's little uh, it's uh, above this table field as you go up this will keep reducing as you can see right the y will keep reducing and the width remains 374 which is again the same as the width of the table view or the genre and everyone everyone has a similar width the height will be different in this case is 34 which is default a text field is by default as a 34 width and uh, this one has a uh, has a bigger one so it is a 458 these are all known as pixels on the screen okay so far so good now what we want to do is we want to programmatically when i run this application or when i click on let's say genre i want to make sure that i bring this table view from here to where i want to which is next to the genre right so i have to play around with this four values okay before you do anything just keep that this in mind that if you want to change your constraints if you recall these are all constraint right that you have put you have to make sure that you remove the constraint of that object from here unless you don't do that this will override whatever you're setting and it will never work so i'll go ahead and clear the constraint of the table view when you clear it and if you run it now you'll see that table view will be not positions properly um, as expected so if you go to genre which is where it is now i can see that how it is positioned down below and it is crossing the screen limits and things like that okay so don't worry about it because we're going to fix it programmatically okay uh, go ahead and click on the status one go to the properties and give a placeholder text as enter status or yeah enter status great uh, this one um, I'm going to show you something I'll say select status I don't want status to be typed by a person so I'll show you this property well, how to make it happen so it's a select status so it'll be a drop down and people will select status for that okay now as i told you before everything is very even driven when do you want you when do you want this table view to come and sit next to a genre whenever you are on the genre text field so there is a property you have learned in the last class known as did begin right so click on this and if you click on the last icon uh, which is the connection inspector you'll see that you have used a did begin so whenever you start your typing or whenever you put the focus back on genre at that time what you want to do you want to do a few things you want to move the table up you want to show the table i think showing the table you're already doing so let's go back to your add view book view controller file you see and now you see it's how easy it is to read did begin right so genre editing did begin when this happens you are making the table visible by making the is hidden property false 
or what is happening is while it is happening it is coming down here to move it up so how do you do that to do that it is for the table you want to do first you identify the event this is the event you want to do then how do you do that it is for the table so it's a genre table view dot there is a function known as frame um, or a property known as frame frame if you see here before i go let's say again i do frame it takes a variable of type cj rectangle so which is the internal object so it think of the entire frame as a rectangle which will take so let's take the frame and i said this frame is equal to you have to create an object of type cj rectangle which is what it expects when you click on cj rectangle and you put a dot you will find different function in it is a first function or it is not an initialization take the one which has x y width and height this fourth one okay so take this and press enter so it is expecting four values from you you know that x is exactly how the other boxes are so instead of you trying to figure out what that should be you can simply say what is the text box before this table view genre text field you can simply say genre text field dot frame all the x and y axis are in a variable as origin so you say origin dot x in other words you are saying that make my x axis think of this as a graph exactly as where my john notex field is you know and if you recall i can take you back again to showcase this is x so as far the text box is from the left hand side of the screen make the table view also the same make sense okay go back to your table view then comes the y y should be how much now let's go back to the storyboard again it should be where your genre text field is you already know the y-axis of that plus the height of this right so y-axis will be right at the top of this and then you have your height if you recall the height was 34 if i, if I recall it right there's a 34 so it is the y-axis plus the height of this so how do you do that you can simply say genre text field dot frame dot origin dot y this will give you the starting point of the genre text field you want to add which is plus the height of the genre text field so you can genre text field dot frame the height and width is directly within the frame so you can say frame dot height this will give you the 34 so 236 or whatever wherever the y axis of the genre text field plus 34 it will take the height and maybe I'll add one pixel so that it shows a little bit down from there okay and then the width width also you want to make it exactly the same remember the if I go back again this is width from here till the here so you can take the genre text field width so how do you do that go back to your this thing to your code and you say genre text field dot frame dot width notice that x and y is in origin width and height is directly within the frame okay this is how they have frame or coded this whole thing from we get the value width is exactly the same and height should be a little bigger so you can give a constant well let's say 300 or 350. you need to do one more thing you have to make sure that i'm going back to the storyboard then when this comes up here this status i need to hide right so the way to hide the status is you know how to do it just like is in properties there so you can say uh, status oh, i'm sorry i have to first create an ib outlet you remember the rule right so i have not done that because i've just added this uh, get a split screen go back here take the swift variable uh, sorry the view controller and from here i will drag and put an outlet you say insert action outlet i want out all the outlet to be together make sure it is outlet and give it a name status text field so that way you have the reference available which i will use to make it hidden so status text field dot is hidden equals to true let's see what happens now so i run it now i 
as soon as I click on genre this function will be called and see it comes right next to it beautifully done and the status is clean now there is one problem this all will work fine there's only one problem when you go out of this which is did end what are you doing you're making the table view hidden but you are not making the status bar hidden equal to true or oh, sorry hidden equal to false so what we need to do is as soon as you end editing you have to make the status bar or status text field is hidden equals to false right that way it will come back and and will show you the value run it again and see if this is happening okay so come here select this value go out of it shows the status bar i'm going to stop here today what i want you to do now is can you use the same table view to show the value of the status define an array you know how to define an array just make sure that it shows the same table showing the status and also moving it down to where it is similar to how you have done and uh, see that how you can achieve that function so with that i will stop this session today and i look forward to your uh, to your inputs to this and again if you do like what you see please please give a subscribe to my channel uh, that's the only way i keep going uh, also please spread the message you know if you have a friend or a colleague or someone who who you know is interested in coding please pass on the url so that they can also learn and subscribe thank you again uh, have a good one